you don't get to learn how to be, oh, I'm, I'm super, I know about money, nah, nah. So, of course, I applied online. In all the jobs now, if you wanna apply and get a job, you apply online, period. So let me begin with everything as the interview process. The first interview was just a meeting, just telling us, talking to us about the company, really organized perfectly organized right the second meeting was actually with the branch that I was gonna work at and the assistant manager interviewed me so boom she interviewed me she would ask me really hard questions where you actually had to talk about a scenario or like something and it was hard it was hard it was hard I always thought I was good when it came to job interviews but that time like when I left after that interview I was like damn I, I'm pretty sure I did not get the job so after that interview she said look listen we're gonna interview three more people and we'll decide later and I was like okay cool boom so I left a month later they called me hey so boom 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 we're gonna hire you two weeks of training paid of course by the way they pay 15 the hour 15 the hour in Miami which is pretty good you know so now you're training on the computer online with other, like it's not like you watch videos no there's actually an instructor telling you do you do this with the system you do that with the system and you're not the only one there's also like new tellers that are being hired and they also go through that same process so I mean I thought that was pretty cool after that training boom I go to my branch my branch in my opinion honestly it wasn't my favorite job it's a lot of responsibility handling money god you get to learn how to count 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 300 when you get to learn that stuff, you know? You have to be fast, you don't have, you cannot be like slow, ooh, 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 you know? It's not like you're cashiering, it's definitely harder than cashiering, for sure, you know? God, it was, it's completely different. And guess what, it is stressful. Completely stressful, you get some fucked up customers that come up to you, they're rude. And you, as a teller, your main priority is obviously, uh, you know, doing the transactions, but you also have to give perfect customer service. But guess what, for someone that doesn't like that shit, like me, fuck dude, damn. I remember customers would come to, to the bank, hello sir, how are you? <laughs> fuck, I hated that, I hated that so much. Thank you for your business, thank you. Like, you have to be so submissive, it's not even healthy. I remember going home and being like, fuck, like, I, like it would change my personality in a way because I wasn't being me anymore. And I can't blame them, you know, I mean, they're paying me 15 the hour. And, but I mean, the customer service that you have to provide is extreme, extreme customer service. You have to be, you literally have to be, literally have to change, put a mask on, and you have to change the way you are and who you are because you have to provide amazing customer service. Also, um, counting money uh, in, the, in the back, in the vault, God, so much money you get to see. In the beginning, I was impacted, you know? I saw literally $30,000 in cash. Brr, I've never seen that much cash in my eyes like that. And you start getting second thoughts, you know? You go like, oh shit, maybe if I fucking take this. You know? It's crazy, it's crazy, you know? But in the beginning, it's like that. But later on, you get accustomed to it. I worked there for a year, and even six months in, I was still getting to learn the system. I was learning one thing, another thing, boom, 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 you know? It was definitely... It was a lot, it was a lot, definitely. I was the youngest one in the branch, meaning that everybody was older than me. I would rate this job working at Wells Fargo as a customer service because of the pay, because it's a good pay compared to other places. I would give 6.5, 6.5, that's how much I would rate the job. God, the, the branch manager, oh my gosh, she was literally the worst, the worst. Yes, when I first met her, she was cool, but then she would think that the tellers and everybody, like we were robots basically for her. We were all supposed to do things like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And it's not like that, you know? She would hurry us when we're in the middle of a transaction with a customer, we're talking with the customer, she would hurry us and she would be like, quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't know, like, I, I, that was not right. And since you were already on that vibe of being customer service and being submissive, you were so submissive to your boss because she's the branch manager and uh, nobody would say anything. I honestly did not like that at all. She didn't like us sitting down. There were chairs for us to sit down, but she didn't like us sitting down. We had to stand up. My experience working there wasn't the best. I've had better jobs like Home Depot, like I said. And I'm sorry if this hurts, but that's how it was. That's how my experience working at Wells Fargo was, you know. At the bank, you have to be so submissive. It's not for everybody, of course. Definitely not for me. I like having my attitude. I like, I like talking the way I like to talk. 
you know but yeah guys that's how my experience was not the best but whatever you know things happen for a reason you know and I got to learn a lot of stuff about myself too because oh, submissive submissive of course you gotta be submissive I think you're even more submissive than, than, a, than, a, than a server to be honest but yeah guys anyways guys thank you so much for watching this of course if you liked it please give it a like comment subscribe I'm being as honest as possible when it comes to making my videos and stuff yeah guys of course follow me on Instagram too if you guys want to of course I got my personality and I am like that period anyways guys thank you so much for watching peace